Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hey, Liza Burnbar. And I'm Matt. And that's Alex. Hi, folks. We got a new bottle for Taco Tuesday for you to get down with your tacos. It's Old 15th. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, I yeah. am excited. <laughs> Welcome back to Taco Tuesday. Taco wow. Tuesday! We got our Old 15th, which is a crazy cool bottle from Bootleggers. And there's multiple Bootleggers distilleries in Tennessee. So, this is the one that's at the top of the hill, nowhere near the normal strip of Gatlinburg where you're there. It's on the outskirts, so it's a past adventure distillery, all that stuff. I believe it's in a city called Cosby. I may be wrong. If it is, I'll put it down here. Um, but anyway, I tried all 25 of their different offerings that they had off the table. All 25? I did. <laughs> I'll show you the picture down here. I'm going to show you some pictures of the porch of this place. I love this place. They take tailgates off of Ford trucks, Chevy trucks, this and that. They put it in front of their distillery. It's super cool. And then you'll have the big adventure, or not adventure distillery, I'm sorry. God, what was the place called? I'll put all the pictures from the distillery up down in here. You'll see them all. That way you'll know where to go. Super cool. I'll also put it in the description so you guys can find it. Because I hope you guys visited there. There's a very cool guy there. Uh, I think he's a third or fourth generation blender down there for them. Oh, cool. And uh, it's been passed down in his family. Yeah. So the guy's about, he's probably a little older than me, maybe 45-ish or so. Uh, very knowledgeable guy. Awesome, awesome dude that was there. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Uh, I drank a lot before we got there. We did all the tours all the way there and then did that one and it was 25. So it's, yeah. Um, very Imagine nice. Imagine what happened there. Yeah, it was awesome. But I didn't drive. I had a driver that went and drove us all the way through and it was super cool. So that way I got home cool awesome. and I'm here now to talk about it. So it's awesome. awesome. So this one, we're going to crack this one open. And this is, this is my favorite bottle personally from their distillery of all the 25 that I tried. Um, I really like it. So I'm really hoping you enjoy it too. I can't wait to try it. I'm excited. It's going to be great. I'm oh. very big into little distilleries. All the little places that are there, instead of like your, you know what I'm saying, like your Makers and yeah. your your Bardstown, your, your Buffalo Trace and this, I like the little places that are off the beaten path and can send you guys there and say, hey, go down there and just try all this stuff, see what you think. So we're going to let you know what we think, and we're going to crack this thing open right now. Woo! Ooh. All right. Did you hear that? That was actually fantastic. Was I, nice if it's one. anything like the pop, you're going to love We're this. Gonna, it's going to be crazy. I'm ready. I forgot to tell you the proof on this one. This one is 46.5 poor percent, which is 93.08 proof. So, nice. a little different than your normal, you know, uh, 95 proof or your 106 proof. Like, 0 0.08 is a little different to me than anything else. I think that's cool. So, that would be what your bottle looks like. So, you can see it out there. We're gonna let you know what we smell on this one. So what you got, Alex? What are you pulling from this? Almost like mm -hmm. a, I mean, to me anyway, like a flowery taste, like fl bread flour almost. Do you wanna know what my honest opinion is on this? Yeah. You're gonna be like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically to me, this smells like uh, the leaves that are on a fruit tree because the fruit is very sweet. Mm -hmm. This smells like wet leaves after a rain. To me. Uh, obviously you have the barrel scent in there, so you do have your uh, smoked charred barrel smell, obviously. But uh, other than that, I get like a wet leaf from like an orange tree or something like that. Very citrus on the back of it. Not very hot. There's not a lot of ethanol that's pulling your nose here that's just like, ooh, it burns. There's no one. It smells that. nice, maybe. It's very light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. So, you ready to get into this? Yeah, let's All try. All right, cheers. Cheers. So it's very, very rye in the back of your mouth. Very smooth in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Goes into a deep pepper in the back. Uh, a very light burn that doesn't even catch your chest. It, it, it goes at your mouth and it ends right here, right at the bottom of your neck, and then it's easy. It does warm you up a little bit going down, but the taste that comes off of it is very sweet, uh, very brown sugar forward-ish to me, uh, and a very citrus kick at the back. I, I absolutely love this. I get the citrus, and mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's a it's tasty. Told you, told <laughs> yeah. you. 
And I think the bottle was, uh, if I remember correctly, I may be wrong, but uh, I believe the bottle was around $30, 28 to $30 or $32, somewhere in there. Um, the, the little distilleries are the coolest places ever. You meet the coolest people who can actually tell you Hey, we made this with this, and we did this, and it's like, oh, this is awesome. I love this place. Like, the guy was so knowledgeable. It was super cool. I will be going there every time we go to Gatlinburg now. I have great stories, too, at those little distilleries. They, they do. They're so oh, cool. So cool. So awesome. My grandfather did this when I was little, and this, and he will tell you all about it. And he was the nicest dude ever, man. Super, super cool place. But, you ready? Yep. Let's get into this. One more. All right. Oh wow. So the second taste is even easier. All brown sugar with a very, mm -hmm. very citrus kick on the back. That pepper is like delayed and it comes in after you swallow it. It's weird. Um, but to me, that's perfect. That means there's a little rye in there. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what the mash bill is. I don't remember. By the time I got here, I was <laughs> seven tastings in and uh, yeah. So, but I do know that this is good. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy that. That's super cool. And uh, I can verify it. This is a this is a tasty whiskey right here. Right. I'm I'm a fan. I I think I might be a fan right now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are ever down here, they make a ton of moonshine. Well, the pictures will be down here. You would have seen them all by now. But I'll put it down here again. Um, tons of moonshine, cherries, pickles, this, that, every flavor you can imagine. They got. Three or four different bourbons. I think three when I was there, but they do have a fourth. But I think it was sold out when I was there. So to me, this was the best one, so I picked up this one. Um, I really hope you guys do visit Venture down to this place. And if you do, please let me know in the comments that you guys went down here and tried this stuff. And let me know what you think of it, because I think it's fantastic. Especially for the amount that it is. Like, you go to a normal store, everything else is like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks already. This doesn't even cost as much as that. And the flavors that come out of it are just absolutely perfect. Like, I love it. I would pour this in my glass all the time. I feel like this is one that people are going to ask for when they come down here. Yeah, especially if you put, maybe even like with the little rocks just to chill it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be really nice with I that. mean, I could put an ice cube in it if you want it for your third taste here. I kind of snuck a half a taste in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not much left. So, I mean, dude, if that tells you anything, our glasses are about empty. So, yeah, I think we like it. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to cheers you on the third one. We'll get into that because I'm, dude, it's so good. And it gets better every taste. Yeah. Still yeah. has the very, very light pepper, but it's very sweet-ish on the back. It's not to the point of sweet where you're thinking sugary and this and that. Nothing like that. But an overly nice, easy flavor to go down. There's a very... at the, the last taste that I had of this, the third taste just now, had that like very hint of leather of a like a wet cigar type of taste on it and that was only off the third one that wasn't in the first and second it gets better every time you taste it and then it has every flavor you're looking for when you're drinking an actual bourbon so this is absolutely perfect you have to go try this almost this like putting it you pair this maybe with a steak taco oh my god you know what's funny what? i'm gonna go do videos with uh uh oh what's the bur what's the barbecue place i'm going to do videos with uh city barbecue city barbecue and when we do, I feel like this would go perfect with a rack of ribs or a brisket. And uh, this is what I was supposed to do is to research some of these to figure out what meats they go with to tell them what we can pair these with. And we're going to do some videos with a couple companies around here. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think you're absolutely correct. This would go perfect with it. And this isn't a big name brand thing. And they can probably do a deal with them to get these bottles down here to put it out to you guys in Ohio and you guys will actually be able to taste this. So yeah. I feel like that would be super cool. This will probably be one of the bottles I do bring with me to go do that. Awesome. So I really hope that works out. That'd be super cool. Yeah. So, well, uh, like we tell you in all the videos, if you guys are drinking while you're watching us, don't drink and drive. Be smart. Get an Uber. Go home somehow. Make sure you're not doing the driving. So make sure you like, share, subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, TikToks, and the Facebooks. All of them. Cleveland on the rocks. Do it big. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.